Aloha, love pups. I am Althemia, a Hawaiian Sphere VTuber, and today we are going to play Do You Like Sweets, which is an indie game that was made for NanoRen 2023, so last year's NanoRen. And um, uh, totally playing this game first. Totally. I didn't play um, the box game first on accident. Totally didn't. Anyways, let us get started. Welcome to Do You Like Sweets, a short visual novel which is part of the folklore series. I don't want the narrator's voice off. I kind of like it. And this game is made... Yeah, 2023. We'll continue with all voices. There was a crooked man who wore a crooked smile with a mouth of crooked teeth which he could never file. That explains the name. He conjures crooked magic for those with brains and nous, but only if you meet him inside his crooked house. Okay, so everything about this guy is crooked. Good to know. That's part of the urban legend you've heard. You've been researching about encounters with the crooked man for months, but now you can find out if he really exists. He better. Some reports say he's a wizard. Others say he's something entirely different. Hmm. You're waiting at an empty old-fashioned sweet shop in the city of York. And that's where the legend says he appears. You must come alone at midnight. Gotcha. Furthermore, there's no need to knock. If he's feeling generous and takes an interest in you, he'll ask a specific question. Suddenly... You hear a voice utter. Do you like sweets? <laughs> Do I like sweets? Uh, yeah. Well then, you better come in. He. <laughs> you enter through the door. But this isn't a sweet shop. You've entered a workshop. Study. Living room? It's hard to say what it is. Quite a dark place here. But I mean, if there's sweets here. <laughs> Forgive the mess. It's a wizard's prerogative. Oh. Now that you've seen him, you know why people are unsure if he's a wizard. Mm. What? I can't stare. What? Don't you know it's rude to stare? I mean, okay, fair point, fair point. You never seen a wizard with sharp teeth before? Nope. My teeth are straight. Yeah. You shake your head. I see. I think I know exactly what kind of sweets you need. Sweets? You are given a small packet of sweets, the label of which says, Don't look for me again, but please, indulge yourself. A little keepsake from yours truly. You are about to inquire about what flavor the sweets are, but you are rushed out of the house and back into the alleyway. The sweet shop is empty. There's no living room, no bizarre decorations, and no crooked man. You're not convinced he's a wizard, but you can't deny that he has magical abilities. You look at the sweets you've been gifted. Do you eat the sweets? I do want to eat the sweets. It would be a shame to squander them. You put the first sweet in your mouth. It's hard-boiled, but moorish. It cracks against your teeth. Snap, crackle, pop. You can't distinguish the flavor, aside from impossibly sugary. You eat one more to try and identify the flavor. Then another. And another. You gobble them up, go home, and fall asleep swiftly. Sounds good. About right. 
Eating those sweets certainly had an effect on you. They did. What they do to me? The next morning, you find you have a mouth full of sharp, crooked teeth. When you examine them closely, you realize they look like the crooked man's. Oh, no. You don't know whether you need a doctor, a dentist, or a vet. A vet? Ending two. Eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But that didn't take long to get ending. What happens if I say no? You're unsure if you trust the wizard and throw the sweets in the bin. Ending one, a waste of time. Okay. We got two out of six endings. Of course you are. Meeting me is a rare privilege. He... So what kind of sweets are you in the market for? You weren't really in the market for anything. But he quickly adds, oh. If you could have any kind of sweets, what would they be? Hmm. The kind that will make someone else happy. Oh, how noble. Oh. <laughs> he seems unhappy with your response. You are given a small packet of sweets. The label of which... Ah. Here we go again. Okay, hang on, hang on. Mm. Mm. You look at the sweets you've been gifted. You're not... A little keeps... You... Oh. <laughs> I didn't know back could do that. <laughs> the kind that will make me happy. Excellent. I do like people who take charge of their own happiness. So, my next question is both the hardest and easiest to answer. What would make you happy? Genuinely, not temporarily. Ooh. Ooh. Beauty, magic, love, popularity, money. I want to say magic. I want to say magic. Magic. Correct. You'd be surprised how many people ask for stupid things like money, popularity, love, or, I don't know, beauty. Your wish is the only one that I am willing to f- Yay! <laughs> you can tell he is being sincere. Hell yeah. <laughs> and you're glad you didn't say any of the other things that went through your mind. It's understandable that you want to learn how to use magic. A life without it is hardly worth living. I pity humans more than any other creature. This conversation has taken an unexpected turn. You're confused about how he came to this conclusion. That is quite an interesting confusion. Conclusion. You are a magic potion or artifact, not teach you magic. I mean, I'd rather learn magic than get a magic potion or an artifact. Are you kidding me? Magic confectionery is my specialism. Many dispute its potency, but you'd be surprised what you can achieve with sugar, magic, and ma I quite like that. I can teach you things that no other magic wielder would even dream of. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's start now. Malice. You feel conflicted. He notes the change in your facial expression and adds, you're the first in a long time that I've deemed worthy of my tutelage. You do want to be my apprentice, don't you? Of course. Yes. Well then, my apprentice, let us be- <laughs> Ooh, I am so ready for this. Ending six. Let the instruction commence. Hey, I don't even want to get the other endings. We good. We <laughs> if you, <laughs> I like you that. <laughs> okay, so we got like two endings. Okay, hang on. I wanna. I do kind of want to try some of the other stuff. Let's put beauty. 
Yeah, very boring. Uh, it's dead again. Okay, let's go back to here. Let's go back to magic. Skippity doo dot. Let's see what happens if he click. No, this is a trap. Do eating the sweets from the different options. You put the first sweet in your mouth. It's hard boiled. But you look at the sweets you. You cut. What am I doing? What did I do? Sugary. You eat one more to try and identify the flavor. Then another. And another. You gobble them up, go home, and fall asleep swiftly. For a few hours. But it didn't last. The Crooked Sweet Emporium website was created after your testimony and has gone viral. The Crooked Man was ending for. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Oh, so the endings change depending on the sweets. I mean, depending on what we do. Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. This is a pretty short video. But, um, as I did state at the beginning of this, um, my silliness did indeed play the, uh, don't, the don't open the box or, um, that game what was the name of that game <laughs> inside the box i did accidentally play that one first but that one will be up later on this week but on that note if you like what <laughs> i'm sorry if you liked what you've seen hit that like and subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye